acceleration is a fundamental concept in physics. Acceleration is defined as a change in velocity. So that means uh, an increase in speed, a decrease in speed, or changing direction. Acceleration is a change in velocity. Velocity is speed and direction, and because of the direction, velocity is a vector. Since velocity is speed and direction, a change in velocity can be a change in speed or a change in direction. So a change in velocity is acceleration. You could increase speed, decrease speed, or change direction. A great example of uh, acceleration and speeding up is with a sports car. Uh, for example, like a Ferrari. So it turns out that today we have a Ferrari with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out what the 0 to 60 uh, acceleration is for this Ferrari California. We'll be assisted by Mr. Peterson. Mr. Peterson, you want to get in the car? All right. Just have to buckle up for safety. Go check it out. So, to solve the problem, we have to write down what we got. The time is 4.9 seconds, the initial velocity is zero since it started from rest, and the final velocity is 60 miles per hour, or 26.8 meters per second. What are we looking for? Write down what you need. The acceleration is our unknown. So now we have to pick an equation. So we look at our kinematics equations. The first formula for average velocity equals distance over time we can't use because we don't have the average velocity or the distance. Here we could solve for the average velocity because we have final and initial, but this wouldn't help us because there's no acceleration. This formula we would be able to use, um, but we would have to do an extra step of finding the change in velocity. Now this formula, we have the final velocity, the initial, our unknown, the acceleration, and the time, so that'll work. This formula has two unknowns, both the distance and acceleration, so we couldn't use it to solve. And the final formula here is also missing both acceleration and the distance. So VF equals VI plus AT is the formula we will pick. So we've chosen VF equals VI plus AT. Now we need to substitute. 26.8 meters per second is our final velocity. The initial is zero and the time is 4.9 seconds. Now solve and succeed. The acceleration is 5.5 meters per second squared. But what if we now wanted to find something else? For example, like the distance. Well now we'd write down what we need. The distance is our unknown. Now we go back and choose an equation. The first formula does have distance. However, we don't have the average velocity, so we can't use it. Now, we could use this formula to calculate the average velocity and go back and use the former formula, but let's try to do it in one step. Here, we already have the acceleration and time, and there's no distance in the formula. This formula, we know everything in it, so there's nothing to solve for. Now, 
this last next formula has the distance, what we're looking for. We know the initial velocity, the time, and the acceleration, so that'll work out. We could also use this formula. However, let's go with d equals vit plus one-half at squared. So, we write down d equals vit plus one-half at squared, and since the initial velocity is zero, we can strike it out. It goes to zero. So our formula reduces to one-half at squared. Sub in our values, the acceleration, and the time, and don't forget to square the time. In solving, we get a distance of 74.1 meters, and don't forget to box that puppy up. We learned earlier that acceleration is speeding up, but it's also slowing down. Let's now calculate the acceleration of the car while braking. Do you think the acceleration will be greater for speeding up or for slowing down? To do this, we'll speed up the car to 60 miles per hour, and then we'll hit the brakes and find out the time it takes to do that. The time comes out to be about 3.1 seconds. So, write down what you got. The time is 3.1 seconds. The initial velocity this time is 60 miles per hour, and the final velocity is zero since we stopped. Write down what you need. We're now looking for the acceleration. Just like before, we pick an equation. Since we already did this same calculation before, we know that the formula that we want is Vf equals Vi plus At. Vf equals Vi plus At. And then sub in our values. The, initial, the final velocity is 0, the initial is 26.8, and the time is 3.1, which gives us an acceleration of negative 8.6 meters per second squared. Note. A negative acceleration does not always mean slowing down. It tells us the acceleration is in the negative direction. If the velocity is positive, only then can we say that the car is slowing down. <laughs>